At the height of the Cold War, the world was a powder keg, every spark threatening to ignite a global inferno. Washington and Moscow watched each other like hawks, their fingers hovering over nuclear buttons, every move measured, every silence interpreted. And yet, one operation born in the shadows of the CIA came terrifyingly close to pushing that fragile balance into full-scale nuclear war. It began, as these things often do, with intelligence, a whisper of information, intercepted cables suggesting Soviet advancements that, if true, would tilt the balance of power. Inside Langley, men in gray suits pored over grainy satellite images, listening to briefings in windowless rooms. The stakes were simple. If the Soviets were ahead, America was vulnerable. If America looked weak, Moscow might strike first. So the CIA devised a plan, a dangerous gambit, one that would leave the world unknowingly balanced on a razor's edge. The mission was simple on paper. Insert an operative deep behind the Iron Curtain, feed false data to Soviet scientists, and cripple their weapons program from within. But the Kremlin was no fool. It was a gamble built on deception on a hope that the Soviets would swallow the bait and stumble into a trap. In 1981, a man with no name walked across a snowy border, carrying a portfolio filled with secrets that weren't real. Channels like this are absolutely blowing up on YouTube right now, and if you've been paying attention, you've probably already seen some of these videos popping up everywhere because they're going viral like crazy. And the numbers don't lie, so let me show you exactly what I mean. Real quick, check out this one right here. The creator literally has only two uploads, and believe it or not, he's already monetized and pulling in revenue. Those two videos alone are sitting close to a million views, which is insane for a brand new channel. Now, if you thought that was wild, there's another channel in this exact same niche that also just started, and get this, they've only got six uploads, yet most of them are already past three million views each. Like, that's absolutely nuts. The channel has already pulled in over 230,000 subscribers, and here's the kicker, they're making thousands of dollars every single month just from these faceless uploads. So if you're watching this right now, stick around until the end, because I'm gonna break down step-by-step step exactly how you can replicate this yourself. And don't skip ahead, because every part of the process connects, and if you miss one step, you're gonna get lost, trust me. Now, let's look at another competitor. This one has uploaded around 37 videos and every single one of them is pulling in thousands and thousands of views. This channel is basically a money machine at this point. So here's what I did. To save you time, I put together a document that lists all these competitor channels with the key details so you can study them yourself. You'll start to notice the patterns like I did and the winning formula is actually super simple. It's all about combining 3D animations with real life footage that matches the story being told. That's it. No crazy editing, no camera setup, no showing your face, just smart use of AI tools and strategy. Now the big question is, how do we actually make videos like this? And that's exactly what I'm going to walk you through today, step by step. So make sure you watch until the very end because I don't want you missing a single piece of this puzzle. And if you're ready to learn how to turn this into an income stream, go ahead and tap that like button, hit subscribe and comment ready down below so I know you're locked in. We're gonna break this into five simple steps. How to come up with viral ideas, how to write scripts that match the level of these viral videos, how to generate the images, how to create the 3D animations, and finally, how to put everything together into a polished YouTube upload. Step one, and honestly the most important part, is coming up with a strong story. Now, because we've already studied competitors, we can use their viral videos as inspiration. Here's what I like to do. I'll screenshot thumbnails and titles from all these channels and then feed them into ChatGPT with a carefully crafted prompt and ask it to give me a fresh set of ideas. Here's the cool part. I've already done the heavy lifting of testing and refining the exact prompts that generate viral worthy ideas. All you have to do is copy that prompt, drop it into ChatGPT and hit enter, and instantly you'll have a list of topics inspired by what's already proven to blow up on YouTube. No guesswork, no wasted hours brainstorming. And once you've got that idea ready, we move to step two, scripting. Now, inside the same document I prepared for you, I included the master prompt I used to generate documentary style scripts. These are designed to match the same high quality storytelling you see in channels making thousands per month. Copy that prompt, paste it into ChatGPT, and insert your topic. Once you press enter, ChatGPT will give you a complete narration-ready script. It's literally that easy. 
And this script becomes the foundation for your entire video narration. Which brings us to the next step, voice generation. For this, I recommend a tool called Eleven Labs. You'll find the link in the description. Once you're inside, head to the Voices section and filter by category, language, and accent. I personally choose English with an American accent, but feel free to test out a few voices until you find one that clicks because, trust me, the voice you pick can make or break how engaging your video feels. For this tutorial, I'm going with one of my favorites because it has that professional yet approachable vibe. Now, copy your chat GPT script and paste it into Eleven Labs. But here's a warning, the platform only allows 5,000 characters per render, so if your script is longer, just split it into sections. Don't worry, it still flows perfectly, just keep track of the parts. Once everything's ready, hit generate, and in seconds, you'll hear a smooth narration ready to drop into your editor. At the height of the Cold War, the world was a powder keg, every spark threatening to ignite a global inferno. Now let's move to images, and this is where it gets fun. Don't stress because I've already written a reusable prompt for you. Copy that prompt, paste it into ChatGPT, and you'll notice a placeholder with an X. Replace that with the number of prompts you want generated. Then scroll down to where it says Insert Script and paste your video script there. ChatGPT will instantly spit out tailored image prompts based on your exact content. Now copy the first one, head over to your AI image tool, and paste it in. Make sure you add 16 by 9 at the end because that's the YouTube format and hit generate. Boom, perfect looking cinematic image. Repeat the same process for all your prompts until you've got a full set of visuals ready to go. Quick tip, if the first render doesn't look how you want, tweak the prompt slightly until you get the vibe right. This is way faster than trying to draw or design anything manually. Now, step four is animating these images. And for that, I use a tool called EaseMate AI. I've tested a bunch of other platforms, but for this type of documentary-style content, EaseMate consistently gives the smoothest, most professional results. So open EaseMate, upload your first image, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, paste in your animation prompt, and set the duration to around 5 seconds. Hit generate and check out the result. It's clean, it's cinematic, exactly the kind of subtle motion you want for a YouTube doc-style video. Do this for each image until you've got a full sequence of animated clips. But here's a tip. Don't rely only on AI animations. Sprinkle in real footage too. It makes the video more believable and engaging. The easiest way is to search the character or event name in Google, grab relevant public domain images or stock clips, and add them to your project. Now for the final step, we're pulling everything together inside CapCut. So fire up CapCut, start a new project, and import your images, your animated clips, your real footage, and your voiceover. Drag your voiceover onto the timeline first, trim out any awkward pauses, and make sure the pacing feels natural. Then, start layering your visuals in sync with the narration. Remember, to adjust aspect ratios to 16 by 9 and scale so everything fills the frame. This instantly gives your project that professional full-screen look. Now add some stock footage for variety. Pixabay is a great free resource for this. If your script mentions a war in winter, search for winter world war footage and you'll find relevant clips in seconds. Drag that into your timeline and sync it with the voiceover. Next, layer in sound effects. Tiny details like a crowd sound or footsteps in the background really bring the story alive. Then, import background music. Again, Pixabay has tons of three tracks. I like to search for documentary music and pick something that's calm but cinematic. Drag it into CapCut, lower the volume so it sits under your narration without overpowering it. At this point, the video will already feel super polished, but we're not done. Add text overlays for names, dates, or important details. Just hit the text tool, choose a font, and animate it subtly to keep things interesting. Little touches like this make your video stand out. Do a final polish by adding zoom ins, zoom outs, and smooth transitions. Then, once everything flows nicely, export the video in 1080p and you're ready to upload. And that's literally the whole process, from start to finish. Now here's where I want you to engage. If you're serious about starting your own faceless YouTube channel, drop a comment below saying, I'm in, so I know you're part of the small group ready to take action. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe because I've got even more tutorials lined up that'll take your automation game to the next level. And trust me, you don't want to miss those. So with that said, good luck on your journey. I can't wait to see what you create.